Ah, oh, so much water. Octopus. Africa. Oh. Am I dead? Oh, you're awake. And yeah, who is she? That was the right question. Where am I? Why do you have the amulet? Put it down. Calm down, Jack. We're in my hotel room, and my name is still Eve. How come you know my name? You don't remember? Really? This is seriously weird. Again. <laughs> Why am I in your bed? Jack, I must say I'm a little disappointed that you don't remember a thing. But when I found you, you had passed out on the floor. That could explain a few things. You found me? Yes. You were unconscious in a warehouse where I was taking photographs for a report on the strike. I'm a photojournalist. What's a photo? You know what? I should probably take you back to the harbor. You'll hardly find your way back by yourself. The harbor? Yes, I've got to go. Amanda will be looking for me. Again. Amanda? Your sister? Um, I'll explain that when I get there. Fine. But tell me, the hotel room, my clothes, did we...? You know what? You tell me once it all comes back to you. <laughs> okay. So we are going back at Hamburg and things are not doing well here. Jack! Where were you? Things are getting out of control here. Well, I found another part of the amulet. But then I passed out somehow. But I now know our new destination. Africa. Wait a minute. Who is that? Is that the way people like you usually say hello? People like me? Oh, this is not going according to plan. Mm, Amanda, this is if she helped me when I was unconscious. Yeah, <laughs> that seems legit. Amanda have no idea who this strange woman is. I'll probably go with this one, to be honest. Amanda, this is Eve. She helped me when I was unconscious. Helped you? Huh. How exactly did she do that? And why would that interest you? Exactly. Why would it? And if this is Amanda, we are together, so to speak. Probably. And Eve, Let's try this something. is Amanda. <laughs> We're together, so to speak. I guess there's no better way of describing it. I'm very pleased to meet you, Amanda. Of course you're pleased, sweetie. Anyway, in the meantime, I found this engineer who can repair our ship. Wow, the ship looks incredible. Carl, this is Jack. Jack, we should get out before Hamburg blows up in our face. Let's see. The ship is fixed. I've got the amulet piece. And I know, more or less, where to find the next one. What could possibly hold us back now? Hey, you, Germans, get back! This part of the harbor has been closed by Umbati Corporation until the strike is over. Just a minute, you look familiar. Oh yeah, that's the guy from prison. These things happen, many people say I look like the hero Rodrigo. We must get out of the port, whoever the Umbati person is, he doesn't get to say where my ship needs to be. We must get out of the port. Not before the strike is over. Don't you listen? Whoever this Umbati person is, he doesn't get a say in where my ship needs to be. Oh, really? Uh, Mr. Harbormaster? Uh, yes, I... Uh, whatever Mr. Umbati says. <laughs> you see, when the Harbormaster says no ships will leave, then no ships will leave. All ships have been held by the Harbor Authorities and will stay here until the strike is over. And no striking worker can enter this side of the harbor. Well, we need to find a way out. We're not workers, we're the crew of the ship. We don't need to go to that side. This is one much nicer anyway. Hmm. We're not workers. We're the crew of the ship. Really? You don't look like sailors to me. Amanda is my navigator? Haven't we met before, Fraulein? 
Can we do this actually? I guess that I'm choosing between Carl and Dave. In that case, I'm gonna go with Eve, since it's gonna be more fun with Amanda and her. <laughs> Eve over there is the reporter who'll document our voyage. What? Her? You're not gonna leave me here when all hell is breaking loose, are you? Can we pick and Carl? Carl is the bosun? Yeah, we can. Am I? Good grief. Are you coming along or not? Oh, sure, I am. I'm the captain. Captain of the Charming Princess 2. All right, all right. You may pass. <laughs> so, that's my crew. Good. You can board, but we're not letting any ships sail whilst the strike's on. And you had better keep your heads down. The end of the strike will be messy. Okay, so after all, they're fine with us. A few pages I tore out of the gorilla's book. I feel guilty, but only a little. Okay, let's see. Can we go back on the boat? The blasted chain keeps our ship stuck in the harbor until the strike is over. Aha, uh -huh. so I need to... A metal bollard. We need, Looks very we need to do something about those chains. Oops. I hope nobody saw that. Well, yeah, I guess that we can do something about this. No, no, I wanted to go right. I know what Impressive. we need to do. We need that shovel from a couple parts ago. Okay, the problem is how to get it. Hmm. I don't see any button which will like connect those we have to the right locked we can't to the left we will would we would go back forward up and down locked should probably leave the crane i don't know why i should do that I don't know why. No, I we do can't. That. Okay, okay, we can't really do that. Can we climb? No, we can't. And I really doubt that we can go from the other side and do that. This paddle is stuck under the crate. Can we even talk with them and do something? Ah, the one who defeated the harbor master. What can we do for you? Mm. I found out why the amulet's glowing. And now I've got to get out of here. How nice for you. We'd like to get out of here too. But we must fight for our rights and our money. How can we end the strike? You know, the Anbati Corporation pays us a pathetic pittance for our hard work. So we complained. But instead of listening to us, they simply stopped paying us altogether. They said that no one's allowed to complain to Mr. Umbati. And now Umbati wants an official apology. But we are not going to apologize. We want our money. Well, that's fair. And in the unlikely case that Umbati won't give you the money... I'm sure they're planning to attack us any moment. They are well armed. And we have nothing but clubs and empty beer bottles. Yes, but we've got Rolf. Rolf? The certified zookeeper? Yes, 
is a brilliant strategist. But Rolf simply refuses to leave. I told you, there are animals present. No animals must be endangered in case of attack. The gorilla? Couldn't you take him somewhere where he'll be safe? Once the battle begins, he won't be safe anywhere. He would only be safe on a ship. Sounds simple enough. The gorilla boards the ship, Umbati's henchmen get what's coming to them, and we set sail. Nine! I can't leave this part of the harbor, because a battle would start and the gorilla would be in the middle of it. You see? We're trapped, and there's no way out. Hmm. Uh, I could take the gorilla back to Africa. Maybe. I could take the gorilla back to Africa. So, you're going to help us, huh? Will you join our team? Um, that's not what I meant, actually. We need every hand. Here, a worker's cap. For what? So we'll know not to bash your skull when things get rough. Mm. In that case, I'll take the yellow one. Right. Here, take it. Good to know you're on our side. No help with a gorilla, but at least I now own a dirty old hat. Who's that guy talking to the harbor master? He belongs to Mr. Umbati, and he's not really known for being tactful, if you get my drift. Couldn't you take the gorilla to safety in some ship? A ship? <laughs> that won't work. I'm sorry. Why not? Because I get seasick. Seasick? A dock worker? What kind of reason is that? Here, yeah, if you don't believe me, look at this. An official health certificate from my doctor. I'll be back. Okay, so we have legible doctor's certificate. A health certificate without an official staff. A dock worker gave me this cap so I could pass I told you, there are animals present. I'm a certified... Hmm, he seems to be angry because I ruined his book. Ah, I remember now. I've still got the pages from the gorilla's book. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, so really? he wants these pages what back, about eh? our I should use them to lure him to my ship. Can we actually do that? After Umbati's guns blow us away. He's right, bro. You're that won't work. Make a plan. But how? Ah, so he wants what? these pages back. Mm, I don't really. I don't see places where we could actually put those. That won't work. That's weird. They won't be striking for much. It's you again. If I had to take another crew member aboard. No one gets through unless the person is essential. A cook, for example? You haven't got a cook yet, have you? Hmm. How can you tell if someone's a cook? Regulations say that a cook must wear working clothes, bring cooking equipment, and a cookbook. And of course, he needs an official certificate of good health. Uh huh. So we have a cap. That gorilla have a cookbook, I suppose. I'm gonna talk with those guys. Please, Jack. Well, I need to talk it through with my crew. Right, but hurry up. I don't want. Okay, she's not gonna help us. Jack, why do we have to drag that Eve around with us? I don't like it. We can't leave her here by herself, can we? Probably not. At least not when there's a riot starting. How about this? You try and find out how she can make herself useful. Either she pays for her passage or she helps us in some way. At least that's what I think. If she refuses to pay and has nothing else to offer, I don't want to have her on board. Okay. By the way, where did you dig up that remarkable guy? What's his name again? Carl? Don't change the topic. Weren't you going to talk to that woman? I will. Fine, I'll talk. 
Have you talked to your crew? Yes, I have. So, what did they... Do you have money to pay for your passage? I'm freelance. I have times when I make lots of money, and times when I make nothing at all. Like now, for example. So, no. Hmm. I'm sorry, but you can't come with us. But there must be some way I can help you. Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that one is nice, but we are not gonna do that. Fishing so we can have something to eat? Oh, yuck. I don't like fish. And I've never touched... Okay, then maybe this. Dancing so the crew can watch? Better not. I learned to dance when I was younger. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't mean... Okay, mm. that's not gonna help. Looks like you can't assist us then. Oh, wait a second. I know what I could do. I'm an excellent navigator. Yeah, we already have Amanda. Too bad. We already have Amanda as navigator. And is she good? Well, you know, she keeps confusing starboard and port, so sometimes our trips take a little longer, like a week or two. Terrific. So now your ship has a new navigator. Uh, Amanda will be absolutely thrilled. Indeed, can't wait to say this to her. I mean, what has Eve got to offer? She could be our new navigator. Oh, that's very... Wait a minute! We've already got a navigator! Me! Mm. And just think about how much free time you'd have on board. Let's just say, it's not a bad idea. Okay, so she's part of the crew. Perfect. And now, we should get going. We did it. You know, about he's not that remarkable. Just pretty unusual. And I didn't dig him up. He just followed me. And do you find him handsome? <sighs> Jack, please. I really like chatting with him. You, on the other hand, woke up in the bed of another woman. Just think about it. Well, yeah. Have you got anything... Well, you already took all my Chinese. All I've got left is this stamp. It looks highly official. If you want to believe a blind drunkard. Well, ex-blind drunkard now. Oh, did he stop drinking? He must have. Here, take the stamp, please, and throw it away. See you later. Okay, we have a stamp. It's the stamp that Amanda bought from Shanghai. Looks official. That could help us. So, Carl, you're an engineer. Actually, I'm a fifth-generation engineer. Uh, we invented lots of things. Uh, for example, an automatic walking stick, a flying umbrella, or a self-steering boot horn. Unfortunately, none of these innovations were a big success. But this time, it's going to be a breakthrough. Hmm. We still need people for our crew. Couldn't you join us as a rigger? Well, Amanda told me you would take me and my prototype to New York. New York? That's what she said. Yes, she said you were going to New York anyway. Or did I get that wrong? Well, yeah, maybe that. Uh, you got it wrong. We are going to the Nile looking for an octopus with odd markings. You got that wrong. We're going to the Nile looking for an octopus with odd markings. <laughs> Very funny. I may be German, but I know a good joke when I hear it. Well, my prototype is in a crate on the docks, right next to the Umbati Corporation warehouse. Excellent. I load it on board. Very good, but please be careful. This prototype is unique and awfully expensive. It is my life's work. Be careful, Jack. What's wrong now? Just don't damage my prototype. Blah, blah, we are not going to do that. But perfect, we actually did this. Yeah, and now a little here. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's see. We should go right. Oh, almost hit the mast. Jack, if you hit a mast, I won't be able to repair the ship. And the content of this crate is very, very important to me. Okay, so we're not going to be able to go on that side. Mm, 
maybe more left. Wow, that was close. Yeah, that should be enough actually. I suppose. I think that's the right spot. Looks good, Jack. I'll detach the crates from the train. All right. Right, Carl. This should be it. Yes, I have a few more things to take care of, but in principle.